NATO's Secretary General's taken part in a meeting of Ukraine's National Security and Defense Council, during which a number of agreements were signed. They included partnership in communications and agreement on the status of NATO's mission in Ukraine. Ukraine's President Petro Poroshenko said he might bring up the issue of peacekeepers in the Donbass at the upcoming United Nations General Assembly. Uh, Russian troops are present in eastern Ukraine and they continue to support the separatists with training, with equipment and with command and control. And therefore I call on Russia to withdraw all its forces from eastern Ukraine and uh, for fully implement the uh, Minsk agreements. Russia continues to deny involvement in the conflict in eastern Ukraine, but from being more than 60% against NATO membership before fighting began, Ukrainian public opinion has changed dramatically. About 64% of Ukrainian voters say they would vote for joining NATO. They indicated the main reason for joining was that it would guarantee the safety of the country in the future. The second reason was that NATO membership would be the first step on the road to join the European Union. Earlier, Poroshenko and Stoltenberg reviewed troops at the peacekeeping and security center of the Ukrainian army in Lviv in western Ukraine. However, NATO once again declined to supply Ukraine with weapons. Petro Poroshenko has announced Ukraine will hold a referendum on joining the military alliance. However, the poll will not take place in the near future. Before the referendum is held, the state needs to implement a number of serious reforms. First of all, Ukraine should re-establish peace and stability in the east and bring the Ukrainian armed forces into line with NATO standards.